here I have an example of multiplying a two digit number, 16, by another two digit number. Now I've done this it this way just to go over those jottings and what you do and where you put them and which ones you add because it can be a little bit confusing so don't worry if you've struggled. So the first thing I need to do is six times five which I know is 30. I need to put the zero in the ones because 30 has zero ones and then my three needs to go in the tens because of, it is the ten. There are three tens in 30. So I need to put it in my tens column to remember to add it, up, add it on in a minute. So I've done six times five. Now I need to do five times one or one times five, which we know is five. But this three here, I need to add on. So five, six, seven, eight. And I would put my eight in there like that. And I can now cross out the three because I've added it on. Then I'm moving on. So remember we've done our 16 times five because we multiplied both those digits by the five. Now we're moving on to doing 16 times 10. And because it's a 10 and it's sitting in our tens column, I put my zero place value holder like that. Now, I can think about this as one times six instead of 10 times six, because when I put that six in there, it becomes 60 because of the place value holder. And then finally, one times one we know is one, but it's actually 10 times 10. But because my one goes in my hundreds column, it has a value of a hundred. And then finally, I need to do zero add zero, which is zero. 8 add 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Put the 4 in there because it is the 1. There are 4 1s in 14, so I place that digit. Carry the 10, and then in my 100s column, I've got 1 plus my carried over, which is going to give me 2. I hope this helps with those of you struggling a little bit with the jottings. Please don't worry, we're going to keep practising this this week and I, you will get it, it's just practice, 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 okay?